Hi everyone, module eight is now open. There it is, titled Signs of Change in the 1300s. You've traveled a thousand years pretty much. Um, and here we are in the 1300s where we're going to see art and society leading the way to the, to the Renaissance. You're gonna be tracking very new directions. And I'm excited because I think you're really going to like this module. There's a lot that's very relatable. And I think that you're going to be pretty amazed by some of the truly great artists that we study in this module, such as Cimabue, Giotto, and Duccio. Giotto, especially, he is among my all-time favorites for the frescoes he made in this chapel and really one of the most revered artists in the western tradition so this is an exciting module for you in a lot of ways um, the module gives you three discussion assignments to, let's take a look your first one sienna and florence understanding the city states is due on october 22nd and that is a, is a response to the video that you watch to understand these important cities, Florence and Siena. It's a great video. It makes the history um, come alive. And so this is an opportunity with the discussion section to dig deeply into that video and, and really kind of sink your teeth into what's interesting about the history. And then pretty much in quick succession, we have another one on October 23rd, which focuses on these three painters. How do we build interpretations from descriptive writing? And one of the purposes in this discussion assignment and the next one that you have after it is to be practicing some of the skills that you're going to use when you do your Grace Cathedral assignment. So the final discussion for this module is due on October 25th and it very much touches on skills in writing analytically about art. So I do want you to be aware of the calendar. Here's the calendar loading, right? So you have assignment, assignment, assignment. I tried to give you a break on assignments this week so that you could get going on your Grace Cathedral and I am not giving you a quiz on module eight because I know you have your Grace Cathedral assignment due on November 1st and you have your Grace Cathedral writing workshop before that. So there is a lot coming up, but it's taken it step by step. It's actually fairly focused and thus rather manageable as we go from step to step. And as I said, these assignments really help you get a bunch of skills together that are going to make you feel more confident writing about Grace Cathedral. So please be in touch with me if you have questions. I'm here to help.